through quarter number two. Came in with good defense, but into the hands of Crip Crawford. Oh, what a play! Behind the back. And Lob City to DeAndre Jordan. Now that was a highlight putter on the baseline. Just watch this now. As he goes out, he does not lose sight of his man who's rolling to the basket. Give Jordan credit for finishing, but more important, by moving to the front of the rim. You will do that when you know that you're going to same spot. Kept alive by Griffin beautifully. Out to Crawford, and he knocks down a three. Well, Crawford is having a great breeze. He takes five again. It's another bad pass. Yes. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Crawford from the other corner. Hey, another four-point opportunity for the all-time leader in that category. Just watch this. The all-time NBA leader in four-point plays. Looking for number 35. Fouled by Mail. Crawford at the line. Some guys play. Uh, and pulled down by Griffin. Here's Crawford from the corner. And another three for Jamal Crawford. It's a 20-point lead. In year now with Dallas. Mavs trying to avoid going two games under 500 on the season. Tough shot. He's a shot maker. And then the main point to me is the second unit. The second unit is not giving them guaranteed points. And just think if Lamar Odom first physically can get back to where he was a couple years ago and then mentally if he can get back there as Crawford gets the bounce. At four and five position. They need that good third guy so that you can run a nine-man rotation or an eight-man rotation during the playoffs. That was 20 points on the night. Sixteen steals on the night for the Clippers tying a season high and now six players and Mark Jackson in his second year there Our former colleague doing a terrific job. Here's Crawford on the other end. Alley of Blitzo reverse jam Bogut and if he ever comes back and could get somewhere close to how he played in Milwaukee, they'll be dangerous